Hey, good morning, it's Mark Weiss. I want to talk with you today about exploiting the hole in big data. You know, there's a lot of talk about how big data is going to revolutionize everything. Well, it might revolutionize a lot, but there are a lot of problems with the whole concept of big data. First, and something that I'm not really going to get into, is the problem of noise. You pick up a lot of data, you got a lot of extraneous data. Believing that you're seeing a pattern in noise is something that humans are very, very good at. That means that devices programmed by humans are going to be very, very good at that. But let's not talk about that whole. Let's talk about something entirely different, and that's the that's the human side, the softer side, the psychological side that will be completely missed because it can't it can't be represented in numbers. It can't be collected and analyzed as, say, the percentage of patients who develop some complication after getting a certain medication can. We're talking about, in essence, issues that relate to value, which is subjective, to patient experience, which is subjective, to making referrals, which is subjective. A lot of this relates to, to things I've addressed on the blog at advisorylawgroup.com and soon to be at weissbc.com, such as the fact that chiropractors who don't use stethoscopes at all in connection with their practice receive a much higher patient satisfaction score when they have a stethoscope draped around their neck and they come in to meet the patient fact that physicians who don't wear lab coats don't get the same satisfaction scores that physicians who do, that white lab coats drive a higher patient satisfaction than blue lab coats, that the comfortableness of waiting rooms, that the experience of a patient who sits and sits in a lobby before coming in to see a doctor drive patient satisfaction. So if we know all these things, what things can you do within your practice, even if it's a hospital-based practice, to play off of these notions of satisfaction, of valuation? What drives a higher value for you? Not just in terms of your relationship with patients, but the satisfaction, say, for a radiology group with an exclusive contract or an anesthesia group or an emergency medicine group with an exclusive contract, what drives higher perception, higher value in the eyes and the minds of hospital administration? It's not necessarily how many, how much you reduce turnaround time in the context of an anesthesia group. It's not necessarily uh, how quickly you deliver reports back to a referring physician if you're a radiologist. Although I'm saying, I'm not saying that those are not factors. I'm saying that the issues are far more complex and that the communication, the signals you're sending along the way are perhaps equally as important. So don't just limit your thinking about your strategies, about your image about your practice business behavior to those things that are purely rational, to those things that can be measured. Think what other ways you can leverage off of perception, other ways that you can create magic for those with whom you interface, for those of whom in reality your livelihood is dependent.